Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you how to get your Mac to read to you out loud. So that's the female voice that you could get. There's a bunch of other voices, male voices, more robotic voices. I want to show you how to set this up so your Mac could read to you. Go up here to the Apple icon here on your Mac. This could work on any Mac, iMac, MacBook Pro. And then go to System Preferences. And here's your System Preferences window. And what you want to do here, here let me go to the main page of System Preferences. You want to click on Accessibility here. And Accessibility should give you this window where you should have speech on the side. So if you're on the general, just go to Speech here. And this is your speech window. By default, this is going to be checked off. So we'll get to this in a second. But first, let's pick a voice that we want. Here's your options. You might not have all the ones I have. You could go to Customize and see some other options here that it will download for you. But in order to listen to someone, just press play. Hello, my name is Samantha. I am an American English voice. You could do the same thing with Fred, Alex, and so on. Most people recognize me by my voice. So pick the one you like here. I'll just leave it on Samantha. You could change the speaking rate to be faster. And then here, just go down to here and select this checkbox. Speak selected when a keyboard shortcut is pressed. So now if I press Option Escape, it will read for me. Let me just go ahead and go to the About page. This works on any document, anything on any website. I'm going to highlight what I want read, and then I'll press it. Option Escape. Howfinity is a how-to video website and YouTube channel with professionally created how-to videos that truly stand out in the world of instructional videos. Okay, and then when it's done, it will stop reading it. So you could do the same thing with the next paragraph and so on. You get the idea. So that's how you turn this on and you could change the keyboard shortcut if option escape doesn't work for you. You could press this, but I think that's a cool shortcut for it to read to me. I hope you found this useful. I found it really easy and I'm really into audiobooks that having the Mac read to me saves me a lot of time. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily tech videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.